in today's video it's a little different because obviously i'm not in minecraft but i am in a dilemma because my friend's birthday blob is in 10 days and i don't know what gift i should get him especially because i have no money I do have an idea. So my screen right now has my logo. And when I made this logo, me and him kind of collaborated and like helped decide what this logo is going to be. So I was thinking maybe I'll make a logo for him. But first to start making the logo, I need to brainstorm. I have my sketchbook right here. This was the original sketch of my logo. And obviously I cut off some sunglasses because it didn't look good. But if we flip the next page, we have a blank page. <laughs> And this is where I'm going to start sketching his logo. Day one. I literally did nothing. I did nothing. Because I went to eat right after that take. And here's the thing. I had to go to track the next five days. So I couldn't work on this gift at all. So when day five came, I finally had the chance to continue working on it. So here's where I am now. On day five, I finished the sketch. <laughs> And did a couple of other things. So, I'm also one to make him a Minecraft skin. For obvious reasons. Just like, a year ago, I asked him what he wanted. Because, like, it was after... I made him this skin a while, while back. And he said, like, just uh, there was a couple things that, like, he just wished that would be different. And so, yeah, now we're here. So, first of all, he said orange and black are the main colors. Then he said a derpy face that's hidden. So, instead of doing it through skin decks, I might just do it um, in GIMP, where I make my texture packs. Yeah, okay, I like that. I like that. I like, I like that a lot. What? No! It glitched out. Oh, I have to restart. It was done. I see it add one more thing. All right, I have to add one more thing. For some reason, I don't say this, but it was just a sword at the back. Much better. Okay, finish the skin. That's good. Now skin's done. That was the easy part. Now we have to... <laughs> now we have to, um... Do the actual logo. Let's get it. And that's all I did for day five. Next was day six. For day six, right before I got on, I was told that me and my family are about to go camping. That weekend. <gasps> So I had to finish today, and I logged on, and the entire logo from before was deleted. I have no idea why, but now I had to kick it into gear. Oh, oh, oh. and go past my bedtime. <laughs> <coughs> so kids watching at home, obviously do not try this. Last day. I realized I was basing off my logo off of this picture, so I decided that I would just run it through Grimp and turn it orange and call it a day. But it didn't really work, but it did let me section out where my colors need to be. So then I went over all the colors, and we're getting too close to the result, so I'm just gonna skip straight to it, and here is what the final logo looked like. If you guys like it, please leave a like, because that would mean a lot to me. And here is what he thought of my birthday gifts. So first of all, on the right side, you can see he's wearing my icon. Okay, so then when I gave it to him on his birthday, I said, I have a gift for you. I texted him the, um, the logo and the skin. And his reaction was like, wow, but he it was like really cool. And then if we fast forward, he said one thing about each. For the logo, he said he wanted a lighter orange for the bob if possible. And then he said for the skin, he would like the banana to be textured. So we're going to do that right now. So here are the two skins. And if I go to the logo, okay, I'm in GIMP with the logo, and I just noticed I messed up the fingers a little, so I'm going to touch that up later. Okay, but how I'm going to do this is that I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, go to colors, go to hue saturation, and hopefully I can just, yep, only affect the orange. 
to be like that. I'm gonna click OK. Not gonna override it. I'm going because he might not like it. Go to export as. I'm gonna name it B Day for real. Export. Export again. Okay. So we're almost done with the logo. All right, now let's fix these fingers. Copy the color, go to paint bucket, go to 1%, and uh, that does not look good. Why does that not look good? There, that, that looks better, that looks better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're gonna send it to him and see if he likes it. If he doesn't, then we're probably gonna be changing the orange again. And lastly for the skin, we're gonna head to skin decks. We're gonna upload from computer, go to the skin. We're gonna copy the bandana color. We're going to go to the textured icon, and then we're just going to go over it. Okay, that's a little bit light, so I'm going to go to a little bit of a darker color. Okay, we finished the slim. Download. Okay, his birthday gifts are done, so let's send them back to him. Here are the two images, and here we go. Oh, go. there we go. And just to make sure the shade of orange is correct, I'm going to ask him again. And enter. Alright, he said good. Just to make sure... Bam. And he seemed like he liked it. Okay, that's going to conclude this video. And if you did like it, please leave a like because obviously this took me a lot of time to make. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So please subscribe and goodbye.